Hey, welcome to another episode of Acting's Eye in the Kitchen. My name is, of course, Ken Talton. And this week marks a pretty cool week that happened in my life. Never had this happen before, but not a big reader of the globe or any of the tabloid magazines, but I just so happen to be featured in this one. They have a, they lost a ton feature article in here, and I was contacted by one of the uh, PR people for Atkins Diet if I would like to participate. And I just so happen to be featured on the title page down here. You can see my picture. And then they also have an article on me a few pages back. So if you're so inclined, if you want to read up on um, my weight loss or how I got to be where I am today, you can read my article in the Globe. Uh, if you don't, you can always join the Facebook page and catch the, the pictures of it there too. So if you like that, it's, I thought it was pretty cool and I thought I'd share that with you. So this week episode, I'm going to be making uh, cheesecake squares. It's not induction friendly, so if you're on induction, you got to wait for the next 14 days and before you can make it. So, okay. All right, first things first. This is two thirds of a cup of almond meal. I got this particular almond meal from Trader Joe's. It's also one third of a cup of flax meal. One fourth a cup of vanilla whey powder. and three tablespoons of butter. And finally, uh, one tablespoon of liquid Splenda or granulated Splenda. All right, use your spatula. And mix it up. All right. Now that I have it mixed up, I added another three tablespoons of butter to it just to um, uh, get it to the consistency I need it. So it's a total of six tablespoons of butter. I'm going to put it into my pan. Scrape it off with a scraper. Grab a piece of saran wrap. I have my oven set at 350 degrees and with my saran wrap I'm just going to push the mixture into all four corners of my pan. I have an 8 by 8 baking pan for this recipe. I'm going to put it into my oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. It'll be done when it's about a golden brown. You don't want to get it too burnt, but you do want it a little toasty on top. All right, so now we're going to add 12 ounces of cream cheese into my mixer. To that, I'm going to add one egg. And I'm going to cream these together. Alright, they're sufficiently beat together, so now I'm going to go on to adding my half a cup of sour cream. I 
actually was asked this week about sour cream and the question was I can't find a zero carb sour cream out on the market I, the lowest carb one I could find is one gram and I, is that okay and of course it's okay the one gram of carb that he was finding within the uh, sour cream was coming from the lactose from the cream and not from some added ingredient that was being added in so if you're looking for sour cream on the market find one with one carb out there Daisy's a great brand or just browse around, I'm sure you have local dairies in your area that might also be correct. To this I need to add two tablespoons of butter. One teaspoon of vanilla. and one half cup of liquid Splenda. Alright, so now if you're just at regular ongoing weight loss phase, this would be perfectly fine. You could eat this as it is. Um, however, I'm going to amp it up a little bit for those at a later stage of the ongoing weight loss phase. I'm going to add a half a cup of strawberries to it. What else could you add? Another half a cup or two-thirds cup of blueberries would be a great addition. Um, or even fruit cocktail that has no added additional sugars to it would be a fine addition if you're at that stage of the diet that could handle that. If you add the fruit, it's roughly five net carbs per serving. I'm going to scrape down my sides. one more time. Alright, we're waiting now for the crust to be done and we'll layer this on top. Alright, the timer just went off. You can see that the crust is a nice golden brown. Don't want to get too much more brown than that. Alright, so take the cream cheese mixture and start dolloping it on. Alright, at this point Spread the cream cheese mixture out to the corners. All right, we're gonna bake this for 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees. And I'll show you the finished product in the photos after the video. Talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.